You know, I got up this morning and wanted something a little different for breakfast and thought of cloud eggs. I've made these a few times, so let me show you how to make them. They are so good. So I'll start by separating my yolks from my whites. And it's always best if your eggs are at room temperature. They just separate a little bit easier. Now in separating your eggs, there are a few ways you can do it. You can do it with the handy dandy egg separator that you can pick up just about anywhere. Or you can put it the, uh, in the egg in the palm of your hand and just kind of throw it back and forth and it'll dribble down through your fingers. Just make sure your, uh, your hands are clean. Or you can simply crack the egg and go shell to shell. Just something like that. Of course, it's entirely up to you how you want to separate them. Either way works, or all three ways work. Now I'm going to add my egg whites to my mixing bowl, but before I do that, I'm just going to give it a wipe down with some lemon juice. That way it just gets any grease off it, and it whips up nice and fluffy. Egg whites into the bowl. Now onto the mixer. And I'm going to mix this up until we get some stiff peaks. And I should mention too, if you don't have a stand mixer, you know, use a hand mixer or even a whisk. Just a little bit more work. All right, now we got some nice peaks happening here. And you want it about something like this. This is pretty good. Now I'm going to add in some ham that I finally chopped. This is great for over the holidays if you've got some leftover ham or something like that. A shake or two of garlic powder, about half a teaspoon, just kind of eyeball this. A pinch or two of salt. Of course some ground black pepper. As always, you can add the ingredients of your choice, it's entirely up to you, or none at all. It's perfectly fine like that too. Just go ahead and fold everything together. Now I'll just go ahead and grab up my baking sheet, give it a quick spray just to make double sure nothing sticks. And I'm going to grab up some of my mixture onto the baking sheet. Grab up my two spoons and I'm just going to form this into a nice billowy cloud. Well, it can be cumulus, whatever kind of cloud you like. And you want these to look really cool, so it doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly round. Just choose the, the cloud shape of your choice. And of course, I'm going to make a nice little well in the center for the yolk to go in. Okay, these are going to go into a 400 degree Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius, preheated oven for about, oh, four or five minutes, just until they brown up. After about five minutes, we've begun to brown up nicely. And just look at this, guys. Doesn't, don't they look spectacular? So what I'm going to do now is carefully put the egg yolk onto the white. Just something like that. Now back into the oven for about another three minutes until the yolk sets. After about three or four minutes, these are perfectly done. So I am just going to go ahead and garnish this up with some parsley. And there you have it guys, are simply delicious cloud eggs. Alright, let's dig into this and see what we have. Oh, just look at this guys. That yolk is done absolutely perfectly. Ah, I just love it. Dip some toast in there, wow. Alright, let's cut into this a little bit. Oh, the texture, I wish you were here, it's just beautiful. Like, I mean, just look at this. It doesn't get much better. Just look at that yolk just drip down there. <laughs> oh, sound like a kid with a new toy. All right, let's see. Mm. I have to say, this is the best egg I've ever had. The texture of the, um, the meringue is so fluffy. 
it, it's like a cloud, literally. The yolk is done perfectly. I love the garlic, I love the ham. Could have added, added a bit of cheese, but you know, you can do that if you like. Oh my goodness. It's worth the effort to make this and doesn't take a whole lot longer than a regular egg. It is so good. Mmm, I love it. Mm. Gotta make this. Look at this, guys. Even Koki is begging for some cloud egg. He says, Daddy, please give me cloud egg. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. You are just so sweet. As always, for the details on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. Great site, all kinds of stuff happening over there. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. And if you like what you saw, hammer that like button. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, and as always, see you next time.